everybody, I'm Corinne Blackstone. Welcome to my craft room. I'm so excited to have you here today. Before we get started, be sure that you are following me over on Instagram. That way you don't miss out on any of the fun tips, tricks, and hacks that I post over there. Today's video, we are doing a bonus part of our movie mystery box. So for this one, you will need your own tray, but you can find one at the Dollar Tree, your local Marshalls or TJ Maxx, or if you have an at home, that's where I got mine. We're gonna make this really fun tray, and I do have the SVG for the circle and the square available on my website, corinneblackstone.com. So you can simply pop over there if you wanna use these two little items. Super easy to download, just a really quick download from my blog. And we're gonna create this from start to finish so you can see how easy it is to create offsets, size everything, and use the Cricut guides. So let's go ahead and get started. Whatever we would do, we do it just for your measurements may be different than mine, so just keep that in mind when we are making this because your tray might be a different size than what I have selected. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload the design that I have for you guys that you can get free on my website. This was sort of a last minute add to our designs, so I wanted to make sure that you guys could get this. Um, so we're gonna use these cute little circles and squares. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload my image. I'm just gonna browse for it because I know that I saved it into my movie night stuff. And I'm gonna go here and choose circle and square. You're gonna have a circle and a square, two different colors so that it's easier for you to manipulate them and move them around. But you can cut them in the same color if you want to. All you need to do is click upload. These are ready to go, easy to add in. So I'm gonna select them and I'm gonna click add to canvas. Once I've added them to my canvas, then they come up. You can ungroup them by choosing the two squares up here at the top on the right-hand side in the layers panel. When you ungroup, it means you can move them separately from each other. The tray that I'm using is about 13 by nine, so I'm gonna use a rectangle to make that tray size. So all I'm gonna do is go into shapes and I'm simply just gonna open a square. It doesn't really matter a square or rectangle at this point because we're gonna unlock it in order to uh, size it correctly. So what I'm gonna do is choose the lock button up here. I'm gonna make sure that it's open and my tray is about 13 inches wide and it's about nine inches tall. So that kind of gives me an area to work with. Now, if I don't wanna work with it in the dark color, I can either do a couple things. I can change the color or I can change the operation over here to a guide. That's just gonna turn it into a red outline. And when I go to actually make my design, it won't try to cut this at all. So I think I'm gonna go with a guide, but I am gonna go ahead and over in my layers panel, right click on it, and I'm gonna send it to the back. That way it's behind everything else, so it'll be easier to manipulate my items. So I wanna have two little spots on my tray. I want one for snacks and one for drinks. Now the drink one is a little bit large, I think, like five inches. So I'm gonna reduce the size a little bit and I'm actually gonna make my snack one a little bit bigger. Cause I feel like your snacks are gonna be bigger than your drink anyways. And I just thought that, you know, that would just make more sense. So then what I'm gonna do is just add some text. So I'm gonna add the snacks and you can use any style text that you want to. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go into my system fonts, but the first thing I wanna do is I'm actually gonna pull my text over to the side. The way Design Space does text now is it'll actually change it without you having to click off of your text box over here. So you'll be able to see what it changes to by leaving it over here on the side. So like I said, I wanna use a um, system font for this. And I don't know exactly what I'm looking for just yet. So I might click on a couple of things see how I like the way that they look, you know, stuff like that. You can really play around with this and choose whatever style you want. So in all my other items, I used the um, font Playbill and I just don't know if that's quite the way, you know what, I actually kind of like it. So I think that's the um, font we're gonna go with, but let me see what it looks like if I capitalize everything and if I like that better. I like that way better. So I'm gonna go with that for our snacks section. And then I wanna do another one that just says drink. So I'm just gonna open up another text box and just do one that says drink. Then I'm just gonna kind of space it out, figure out kind of what I want this to look like, how I want it to sit. Now, this is where you kind of can go in, play with it, see what vinyl you've left over, cause it may depend on what you did and like which colors you used for which projects. 
So for me, I'm gonna do my square and my circle in white because I have quite a bit of the white HD left over. So I'm just gonna change these over to the color white. Now I decided that the snacks and the drinks I wanna do in the bear pattern, the cozy bear night. So what I'm gonna do is just change these to like a light blue. And I think that will work fine. Now, keep in mind, sometimes with the like words in a pattern, it can be a little tough to read. My tray is black, so it probably won't be too hard to read. But I'm going to add an offset because I have quite a bit of gold left and I think it'll look really cute. So I'm just going to add a little offset to this just to kind of like jazz it up. So what I'm going to do is select my word and select the word offset up here at the top. Now, I don't like a big offset. I usually go maybe like 0.1 or even smaller. It really just sort of depends on the look of the image that I'm going for. But I think 0.1 will work fine for this. So I'm just going to click apply. The next thing I'm going to do is choose the drink one and I'm going to do the offset. Nice thing is it saves the size of your offset. So I know that it's 0.1, but it's already there. So I can just click apply. Now I'm going to cut that in like a gold. So it doesn't really matter what color I have it here on the screen. It only matters what color I put on the mat, but just so I kind of remember what color I'm doing, I'm gonna change the color just to a light yellow. That'll just sort of help me visualize a little bit better what this is gonna look like. Now, like I said, I am putting this on a black tray, so if I really wanna get a good like idea of what it's gonna look like, I can just click on blank canvas down here at the bottom and change the color of my background to black just to see kind of if I like it and if I think it looks really good. I actually really like it. I think it looks super duper cute. So we're gonna go ahead and go with it. So now all I have to do from here is simply click make it, but before you do that, make sure that you save your design. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this one tray design and I'm gonna click save. The reason I tell you to save is because sometimes when you hit make it, design space might have a freak out, it might shut down, and then you've lost all the work that you just did. So we definitely don't want to do that. So we definitely want to hit save. So now I can click make it. And you'll see that we have all of our pages set up. Now I am going to see if this will work, if it'll fit, and it does. So I think what I want to do is I'm going to save some vinyl. Because my circle fits inside of my square, I might as well just cut it inside of there to save myself some vinyl. Why the heck not? And I'll show you how to kind of get it out of there really easily. It's super simple. Then I'm going to go over here, just kind of look and make sure everything looks like it looks good. And then we're going to take a look at this one. Now, this one we might need to move around a little bit on our um screen here because if you want your bears to face a certain way depending on where you've already cut your vinyl you may need to move them down so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and slide these down so I have about seven inches of the vinyl left over on the one side so by knowing that I know that I can go up to one two three four five six seven so I can go right about to the five so I'm gonna go a little below that just to be safe and then I'm gonna go ahead and just put this one right next to it or maybe below it. Let's go below it because I think that will save us on some vinyl. Now, another thing you can do too is you can just line them up right here on the bottom. It's really up to you and how you wanna cut it. So you can absolutely do it just like this as well. But again, it depends on the way that your vinyl was cut from previous projects. So now that I've got everything set up, we're good to go. This is easy, super easy cut. Everything really cuts on the vinyl setting. The Chrome, I will say, sometimes doesn't love the vinyl setting. So if you have a little bit of issue, try vinyl with more pressure. That seems to work on most of my machines. But if you are still having some trouble, do a little test cut with a little star and that'll help you out. So let's go ahead and get these all cut out and we can apply them to our tray. The first vinyl we're starting with is our white. So we're just going to place that on our mat. Get that pressed down and then go ahead and load it in. And we're gonna cut that out. That's gonna be the circle and the square. The next one that we'll cut is our gold and then followed by our bears. So 
So we've got our tray. I got this one at the local at home store. I don't know if you guys have one of those. Uh, really love that store though. It's got all kinds of really fun stuff in it. So the first thing that I think I'll do, and I'm probably going to slide the tray out of the way really quick, is I think I'm going to layer the words really fast um, onto each other. And so I'll slide this out of the way just over to the side. Now I'm using the medium tack transfer tape. You guys watch me, you know this is my favorite tape. I think this one really works like the best in my opinion. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lay down my word here and I'm gonna go ahead and cut this just a little bigger than the design that's on there because I need it to fit over the um, offset here. And then I need to grab my squeegee and I'm going to burnish from the back. Now, I am going to be honest with you, for whatever reason, um, my Cricut decided to cut the pattern a little bit deep. So I have a feeling that we're going to end up with a little bit of a backing stuck to this, but maybe not. I don't know. We'll find out in a second. This one might not be too bad, but I think the snacks cut a little too deep. It's fine. Um, it happens. It's been since that update, it's been kind of making its own cut settings up. So now what I want to do is I'm going to layer this on top and I'm not going to use any parchment paper. I'm pretty good at getting it like even and straight where I want it. Like I'm pretty proud of that. That one came out really good. This looks so cute. I absolutely love this. So then I'm going to go ahead and peel this one off from the backing. And then what I want to do is layer this on to my tray. So I know that my snacks word is going to go up here. And my drink word is going to go down here towards the bottom. So I do have a little extra transfer tape on this one. So I'm just going to fold it up a little bit because I want to put this kind of close to the edge down here. I think that looks pretty good. So we'll lay that down and then I'm going to use my squeegee and just burnish it down. And then we're going to peel off pretty careful. This is just a wooden tray. It's not like anything fancy, but you can use any tray that you want or can find. They have gray ones at the Dollar Tree, uh, plastic ones, so you can definitely find whatever works for you. So let's do the snacks one next, or should we do the circle? I guess it doesn't completely matter, so I think I'm gonna do the circle. So with this one, because it's in the middle, there's a couple of options to how to do this. So the way I'm gonna do it is I'm actually gonna cut it out from the middle of my square. This just saved me so much vinyl that I couldn't help but just put it in the middle like this. And then you can just cut around it like this. Super easy, it's gonna save you a lot of hassle and annoyance and vinyl, but this is super simple. You just kind of chop it out from the middle, no big deal. And then you're just gonna get, again, a piece of transfer tape. And I'm gonna lay that down onto my table. It's a little staticky in here today. So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and press this down. I'm going to squeegee that down and then I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Move that over to the side and bring my tray back in so you guys can see. So my circle is going to go kind of up here. I wanted it to be a little further away from the word so that when like the drink is on the tray, it doesn't cover up the word. Now you can lay your circle any way that you want. So wherever you want your little swirl or swirls to sit really does not make a difference. It's up to you and the way you want it to sit. I think that looks cute. This is going to be so fun. This is going to be really, really cute. So then I'm going to peel that up. So I think next I am going to do the square because I want to be able to make sure that I lay the square so that the, the word will fit up here. And I do want the square to be pretty close to the bottom. So again, busting out some transfer tape. And if this doesn't fit fully on this piece, it's okay. I will just use a little patch, but it fits just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. And again, we'll burnish from the back. And you can see this project really goes pretty darn quickly. It's not a project that takes a lot of time. And because nothing has to be like perfectly straight, you don't have to really fret over every little detail, which I love. So I'm going to turn it, I think this way. I think I want it to sit like this. Now this one is going to fit a little tighter to the corners of my tray. So I'm going to trim off 
the excess transfer tape just around the two sides that are going to be against the edge of the tray just to make it easier to lay down where I want it because I want it to sit kind of and it doesn't have to be straight which I love because I want it to sit a little bit like off center because it's not really like a full square it's not like super straight and then I'm just going to burnish it down my tray likes to slide around a bit and once that's done, again, just take up your transfer tape. You can see this is such a simple and easy project. Now, for some reason, my transfer tape decided it was going to rip, so that's okay. It did it to me the other day, too, um, when I was cutting something. But look at that. It's going to be so cute. So let me grab my other piece. So this is my piece of transfer tape we'll use for our snacks. So again, slide tray up out of the way. Let's get the word snacks on here. I think this is just such a fun little addition to this box, a great way to use these little um, colored like patterns because sometimes they're hard to figure out how you want to use them, but using an offset makes such a difference. All right, now we're going to line this up. And again, you can use the parchment paper method if you want to, but if you're pretty confident, you cannot use it. It doesn't matter. It's whatever works for you, however you want to do it. All right, we're going to go ahead and take this off the backing. Now, again, I know I'm going kind of quickly for this because I wanted to show you this project. Super fast, super easy project. De designing it, I did it all with you guys in real time. Cutting, I did speed that up but and weeding, but it was all very quick. And then this part we're going to do in real time so you can see how quick and easy this really is. Burnish that down and then peel up that transfer tape. Peel that back. Look at how fun! Oh, I think it's super cute. I'll get you guys a little bit closer view of this so that you can really see the words a little bit better. I know it's kind of hard to see them when you're that far away. Here is the finished tray. I have it up on its side so that you guys can see it a little bit better. But look at how stinking cute those bears are. Against that gold, I absolutely love it. I think it is so cute. And this is a really fun way that you can design your own little fun tray. Again, I found my tray at home, which is just a cute little home store that we have. I don't know if it's like a national store. I assume that it is. But you can use any tray that you want. And I just think it's super fun. It's going to be a great way to carry your drink and your snacks in for your movie night. This is also a really great item if you have a coffee table that is like more of an ottoman style because these give you a nice flat surface to set your items on. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in those comments down below. I love you guys so much and thank you. I hope you all have a wonderful day and as always, happy crafting. Mm -hmm.